Hi everyone, my name is Bappi Hamed and welcome to my YouTube channel. So guys, I think you know recently Meta AI has just published one amazing open source large language model called Meta Llama 3.2. So it is one of the amazing open source model guys in the field of Generative AI. I'll tell you each and everything about this uh, Llama 3.2, uh, like what are the new new features they have added, even how we can access these are the model with the help of different different kinds of platform. So I think you already know Llama is having different different uh, version like Llama one is there two is there okay three is there i think few months back actually they uh, came up with another model called llama 3.1 okay now they have published something called llama 3.2 and in that actually they have introduced something called uh, lightweight model as well as the multi model so this lightweight model you can execute in your edge devices any kinds of edge devices uh even you can also execute in your smartphone okay so this is the groundbreaking uh research actually they have done because because as of now whatever let's say open source model we used okay we need a uh, like powerful gpu to run that model but now you can execute desert the model okay if you are having any poor configuration machine no need to worry still you will be able to execute desert the model okay so let's discuss about this uh llama 3.2 okay in more detail so let's open up the official website and try to discuss about this meta llama 3.2 so you can see Llama 3.2 is an open source actually AI model. That means large language model. Uh, you can also fine tune this model on top of your custom data. Let's say uh, you want to fine tune on a specific task with your custom data. Okay, this is also possible. And you can see it is having different kinds of variant. Like it is having 1 billion parameter model, 3 billion parameter model, 11 billion parameter model and 90 billion parameter model. So it is like massive model. And previously, I think you already know Llama 3.1 uh, was there. Now let's try to discuss uh, about Llama 3.2 like what are the let's say new functionality they have came up with in this Llama 3.2. So guys here you can see the latest models. Llama 3.2 is a collection of large language model LLM pre trained and fine tuned in 1 billion and uh, 3 billion sizes that are multilingual text only and there is another model called 11 billion and 90 billion. So this model actually takes both kinds of let's say data text and images okay as an input and uh, output as a text okay. So this is one of the amazing model actually they have came up with. Now here you can see guys, they have divided this model into two part, two section. One is the lightweight section and there is like multi-model section. So you can see 1 billion and 3 billion, this model they are considering as a lightweight model. Why? Because this lightweight model, okay, is the most efficient model that you can run everywhere on your mobile or any kinds of edge devices. Okay, it's amazing guys. So far, let's say whatever model we saw, okay, in the field of Generative AI. So all the model, if you see, we need the powerful GPU machine, right? If I want to execute this model, but what Meta AI did actually, they came up with lightweight model as well, lightweight large language model. Just try to think about guys. You can execute this kinds of large language model on your edge devices, on your smartphone. Great, right? And this is the variant guys, 1 billion parameter model and 3 billion parameter model. You can execute uh, as a lightweight model. Now there is another section they have actually published called multi-model. And inside that we are having uh, 11 billion parameter model and 90 billion parameter model. Okay. So here you can see these are uh, multi-model that are flexible uh, and can reason on high resolution image. That means you can also pass the high resolution image. Okay. If you are using this kinds of large language model. Got it. Now if you want to download these are the model, if you want to get the access from the Meta AI guys, what you have to do, just click here. So it will ask for one information. So you have to submit all the information and you have to. So once you submit this form, they will uh, review your form and they will give you the permission. It will take, I think, uh, 24 hours. In 24 hours, you will get the permission. So I already applied uh, for the permission, guys. I already got the permission. I'll tell you how we can access this model. You can also access this model from the hugging face itself. Okay. So let me show you guys hugging face. So inside hugging face, also this model is available. So just search for Meta. So let me go to the Meta organization. Uh, now, if you just go below, see Llama 3.2. Okay. Inside the collection, you will see that Llama 3.2. So all the models are available inside Hugging Face itself. Okay. Now you can use any kinds of model. Let's say I want to use this model, 1 billion parameter model. I'll just try to click here. And one thing you have to do here, guys, just try to expand it and try to agree all the, let's say, information, whatever they are suggesting and try to put your information here and try to submit. Okay. Once you submit, you will get the permission. Okay. From the Meta AI. Now let me tell you how you'll see the permission. So for this, just go to your profile and just go below there. You will see one option called gated repositories. Okay. Just try to click here. Now you'll see that I have already applied for the Meta Llama 2. Okay. So here is the permission. Okay. I got the permission. You can see accept it. Got it. So that's how we can apply for the permission. 
and once you got the permission guys you can use this model now they have already given the code snippet how we can use the model guys if i just go below see they have already given the code snippet so this code actually you can execute okay this code actually you can execute in your uh, collab notebook or in your jupyter notebook anywhere you can execute you will see the uh, output from the model okay i'll show you how we can use this model in a different different way so at the last of the video i'll tell you how we can use this model uh, through the api request okay i'll tell you for this uh, which platform you can use but before that let's export the website again okay like what are the things that actually they have came up now you can see guys uh, this is the example they have given let's say on devices on devices means this is the a lightweight model and you can see this is the lightweight model performance that means if you give any kinds of text here okay it can do the summarization even it, it can also perform the uh, calendar event extraction so many things it can perform guys if you can see they have also given the video okay video let's say sample you can watch this video now let's go to the multi-model see multi-model as i already told you it can takes uh, two kinds of input image and text right so you can pass any kinds of image and this will give you the entire caption of that image you can also change any element inside the image it is also possible let's say you don't need this uh, let me show you let's say you don't need this uh, uh, this fire box okay so what you can do you can select this fire uh, fire box sorry this is called actually fireplace then what you will do it will automatically replace okay with any other fireplace see okay so this is one of the amazing model they have created and there is another service they have actually published called llama stack with the help of llama stack you can execute these are the model in your local machine okay see for this whatever co command actually they're suggesting you can execute them now you can see the model evaluation guys that means the entire benchmark so they're considering llama uh, 3.21 billion llama 3.23 30, uh, 3 billion and jimma uh, 2 actually 2 billion and pi 3.5 mini it so these are the model actually they're doing the comparison with different different benchmark data set you can see and this is the accuracy guys okay this is the accuracy so guys you can see llama 3.2 series actually is performing better so you can see all the benchmark metrics now if i go below you can see the downloads uh number of downloads okay of this model even they're also discussing about data privacy productivity okay contextual understanding and solving and solving business needs right apart from that you can see they have also published actually different different blog on top of this llama 3.2 you can also read it out if you want to read it so guys now let's try to see how we can use this uh llama 3.2 model so first of all i'll show you the hugging face demo like how we can access through the hugging face so let me open up my hugging face so if you go to the llama 3 uh, 3.2 section so here you will see different different kinds of model okay so first of all you have to apply for the permission guys i already told you so if you open up any model there you will see one input form so you have to first of all submit all the information and you have to apply for the permission and if they're giving the permission you will be able to access this model so i already applied for the permission guys so let's say i want to use this model llama 3.2 11b vision instruct model so this is the vision model now we can also test this model here so they have given one inference api you can see uh, you can also test this model here either what you can do they have given the code snippet as well you can also execute in your google collab so let me copy this code snippet mm -hmm. and i will open up my google collab so first thing what you have to do you have to install the transformer library because if i want to use hugging face i need the transformer library now just try to uh paste the code snippet here now let me execute okay so here it is giving one error uh because you have to install the transformer update version okay so let me copy this command and let me execute it right now okay now i have to restart the runtime then after that i will execute this code so first of all what will happen it will download that model okay it will download this uh, llama 3.2 11b vision instruct model then uh, it will download one image you can see this is the image so this image actually it will download then on top of this image actually uh, here is the prompt guys so it will apply this prompt and it will give me the output let's let, let me show you so let me execute this code and this model size is very huge guys so it will take some time uh, to download from the internet and guys make sure you have uh, taken the runtime as gpu because uh, this model first of all it will download in your system then it will execute and to execute this model you need the gpu so i already stopped the execution because uh, it will take time first of all it will download the model then it will do the inference so i will tell you one uh, easiest way you can access the model through the api request for this what you can do you can use something called uh, this library called grok okay so grok is a platform let me show you so it's kind of open ai kinds of platform grok playground if you just search here even i think i already given the link here so let me first of all install grok Gro. so 
So here is the link I have at us guys playground rock playground. Let me open it up. Okay, so here the first thing you can uh, create one account if you don't have the account. I already created my account. Now here you can select different different Llama model. So not only Llama model, it is also have actually Google model again face. Okay, different different kinds of model it is already having. Even Mistral is there, Whisper is there. Okay, all kinds of model it is having. Now let's say I want to use this uh, Llama uh, 3.2. So let's say I want to test this model Llama 3.21 B preview. Okay, this model I'll select it. Now here you can give the prompt. Let's say give me a Python code to add two numbers. Now here I can submit and I can get the response. See, okay. Now if I want to access through the API, what I need to do guys, I need to first of all create one API key. So click here and try to create one API key. For me, I already created one API key. For you, you can create one API key. Okay, after that, this is the code snippet guys. Okay, first of all, import the grok, then set the API key and give the prompt. So here I'm giving, uh, tell me about your capabilities and just try to uh, pass the model, okay, inside the client. Then here you also need to give the role and the prompt. That means the way you used to write your OpenAI, okay, OpenAI, I think syntax, the same thing here you also need to write. Then you can also pass the parameter like temperature, max tokens, okay. These are the thing you can also mention. I think you know what is temperature parameter, what is max token parameter, right? Then after that, whatever response I'm getting, I'm just printing here. Now let me execute and let me show you. So see guys, this is the response I got from my model. Now you can change the prompt. Let's say I will give, uh, give me a Python code to add two numbers. Now let's see. See, here is the Python code I got, okay? So that's actually with the help of API request, you can access this Grok model. And uh, you can change the model name here anytime. So different, different model. Let's say if I'm taking this model, just try to click on view code. And this is the model ID. Just try to copy here and try to paste it here. Okay, so it will load that model and it will do the inference operation. Got it? And it's like free. You don't need to pay for anything. It's completely free. Got it? So guys, I think you saw how we can use this Grok API to access this Llama uh, 3.2 model. Now, uh, what I will show you, uh, I'll show you like the local setup, like how we can perform the local setup and how we can create a Streamlit application. Okay. So here we'll be implementing one chatbot like uh, Llama 3.2 model chatbot and there actually will be performing the chat operation. So for this, what I have done guys, I already prepared one code. So here I created one requirement.txt file and inside that I uh, mentioned the Grok library and Streamlit library. So first of all, what you have to do guys, you have to create one virtual environment with the help of Python 3.10. Then you have to install these are the requirements and to install this requirement you have to execute this command and to install this requirement you have to execute this command called pip install hyphen requirement.txt now see if i hit enter it will install everything for me it is already installed but for you it will take some time okay then the next thing what you have to do guys you have to write this main.py so here you can see i'm using the same code only the same logic only but here i have created a function and the function name is get grok response okay this is the function actually i have created and here is the Grok client guys and this uh, API key actually I think remember we collected this API key from the Grok dashboard. And you can also create a one env file inside that you can also mention the API key but it's completely fine after recording I'll try to remove the API key. Okay. Now guys see what I have done here I created one simple streamlit application. So here I'm giving that title. I'm taking the input from the user. Okay. Then I'm creating a button. So whenever user is giving any kinds of input and whenever he is clicking on the button. So what will happen? This input will go to my function. That means get grok response. So you can see this response actually I'm passing to my model and it is giving me the response. Okay. And this response actually I'm rendering on top of my streamlit application. Now let me show you how your application will look like. So I'll clear. Now I'll execute this command called streamlit run main.py. Now you can see guys, this is my application. Now here you can pass any kinds of let's say so here I'll give a prompt. Let's say, tell me about deep learning. Now see, if I send a request, you will see the response type is very fast. See, very fast. See guys. Okay. So within a few seconds, you will get the response. Now you can ask any other question. Let's say I'll ask, uh, give me a Python code for Flask API. So here is the Python code guys for the Flask API. Okay. I'm using model. Now you can change the model here anytime. So here I'm using a Llama 3.2 3B. Okay. 3 billion parameter model. But you can also change with any other model. It's up to you. You can also take let's uh, 
8 bin stack model okay 70 b uh, sorry i think this one 11b you can also use you can also use 11b 11b vision as well if you are using vision model you can also pass the image okay based on the image actually you can also provide the prompt i think i already showed you in the hugging phase okay how we can uh, give the prompt and how we can pass the image so this modification you can perform and you can also use this kinds of vision model so yes guys uh, this is the complete uh, demo of this uh, llama 3.2 and going forward, I'm going to uh, create actually lots of project in this channel actually with the help of Llama 3.2. We'll be learning uh, different different kinds of application like we'll be creating rag based application. Even uh, we'll be also learning how we can fine tune these are the model. Okay, everything we'll try to, um, I mean, uh, cover. And guys, I'm also planning to uh, actually start the live session like live uh, Genetive AI series on my YouTube channel. So please try to support my channel. Try to subscribe if you haven't subscribed yet. Try to subscribe to my channel and try to share. Uh, with your friends and family with that guys thank you so much for watching this video and i will see you next time